Pandas, 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 pandas. Good morning, my pandas. Welcome to the stream. I'm glad that you guys can join us this morning. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's nice to be able to trade with everyone. Brian early, 9 a.m. Thanks for joining the pre-market show on the stream. If you guys are just joining, make sure you guys scalp that like button. Also, make sure you guys fill out that poll so we can let everyone know what you guys think. What What's the consensus of what today's trend might be today? And it's pretty nice because we get about 80 some votes on this and it's... You know, a pretty good, uh, it's a pretty good amount of uh, people's opinions. So, not that it necessarily even uh, is accurate, but uh, <laughs> it's good to know. It's good to know. My pandas, my pandas. Hope everyone's doing amazing. Coach Mo's, good morning. Russell H, good morning. John Curry, good morning. Mady Aini, good morning. John Curry. Ask anyone trade on the job data when it comes out. Uh, I took a couple trades off the job data. Um, really, at the end, it was just a little volatility and not much more. But it doesn't really help us in terms of direction. I think the job data was bad, but it doesn't matter because the price action will tell us exactly what uh, the market is going to do for us today. Pandas, my pandas, as you guys are joining in, let me say good morning to a couple of you guys. Mike Boliska says, I usually wait until the news comes out and play off the reaction. Kevin Mack, good morning from Louisville, Kentucky. Green Trader, first vote, babe. Janelle Shiver, good morning, everyone. SW Blaze, good morning. Observer, good morning. H Cal, good morning. SW Blaze and H Cal, these are my second entry pandas. Thanks for joining. Thanks for your constant, continual support. H Cow, happy Friday. Let's get that bamboo for the weekend. Pandas, this is my new bamboo uh, animation. Let's get that bamboo. Yes. Got the sound and everything. It just looks so good. I love it. I love it. Good morning, good morning. Power Trader. Good morning from LA. It's Friday. Last day of trade for this is the only place where you can find, possibly in the world, where people are actually sad that it's Friday. Because <laughs> Friday means the market's gonna close over the weekend. And we gotta wait for Monday until we get back together with this community. So can't wait. Can't wait till Monday. Looks like we got to break a trend to new high. Break a trend to new high. I can say this is a nice break of trend because we have this moving average gap here. This actually is a reversal pattern but fails to reverse and goes up and looks for a new high. It looks like it's looking for a new high. Actually comes with an H4 or L4 setup. Right, four pushes down off of yesterday's close. You get a nice push up here. A higher time frame, pushing higher. It looks like it's looking for a new high. And uh, I don't know if, I mean, it looks like it's an uptrend at the moment, but this uptrend can end because it basically had a spike channel, break of the channel, making a new high here. And so, pandas my pandas. It looks like it can reverse here at any moment. It, it, it looks like it can go either way, but it's hard to say. Hagen Rowe, good morning. When you set up your hotkeys for order entries, so the nice thing about uh, 
you know, you guys joining at 9 o'clock, I can talk with you guys, I can chat with you guys, I can answer any questions, I have more time to do so. <clears throat> so, Hagen Rowe asks, uh, do you set the price to be ask or bid for both selling and buying? I, I make an order based off the ask or bid. If it's the bid, then, um, then I put it for the bid, you typically want it to be for, uh, well, it depends. You know, if I'm going from underneath the market, I like to go for the bid because, um, you know, if I like, let's say I want to buy a buy limit order uh, with the bid, uh, then I want to, sorry, if I want to buy a buy limit order, I typically want to buy underneath the price. And so I like to buy the bid and put it like two or three points below the bid. And you can do that. You can do an offset. And so when I, you know, do a buy order, it puts it about two points below it. So I have some time and room to move it around. If I put it right at the bid, there's a chance it could just, you know, just trigger it right away. And so that's why I like to give a little bit buffer. So you can put an offset off off of the bid. And for asks, then it's whenever, whenever I wanna do anything above the price, such as sell limit order or buy stop limit order. And so that also is about two points. So if I wanna buy a buy limit order, it puts it two points above the current uh, ask price. And so, Very interesting. We have an H4 set up here. Huh. I don't know. I'm not feeling either way right now, pandas. One thing that does happen is a daily did trigger the second entry long here. And um, it's a wonky second entry long because of all this congestion here. It goes like this. A, B, C. All the way down here. And now we're breaking above. Typical what we look for now is a trap trade to the downside. This is, this is usually where we find it underneath the 20 MA, especially after a break of trend, right? Break of trend to new high. Typically, this is where we find the uh, reversal pattern. And this is coming off of an L4, but instead of the L4, there's one more push up. The L5 uh, fails with the reversal bar, and now we're reversing. So, very good spot to find a reversal, in my opinion. So that's why I'm not either way. I mean, this can go up a little bit higher, but I mean, you know, if we're underneath the 20 MA, typically what we try to look for is a trap after a break of trend. So. Power Trader says, did you get the second entry long on the daily? It was a great call on the Discord. Uh, yeah, so on the Discord, if you guys don't know, we I mentioned that there was um, the NOM farm payroll and uh, just said, hey, we're gonna trigger the second entry long when we pro cross this blue line. This blue line here, or this turquoise line, is uh, yesterday's high. So you have yesterday's high here, you have yesterday's close, and then yesterday's low. So I like to have those three things all on my screen. That's what these like uh, horizontal lines are because they typically act as nice support resistance levels. And when we broke above yesterday's high, that actually triggered the second entry long on the daily. And so we have a second entry long here so, we shall see. We attempted to make a new high, but let's see here. I mean, you, in my opinion, it's really hard to go short here as long as we have this trend. You know, we need to break this channel, in my opinion. We have a tight bull channel going on right now. And that is just, you know, the retest of the high essentially wants to create right the market wants to create some sort of double double top here before it reverses good morning j mark thank you thank you thank you congratulating me for passing my eval pandas i am i am labeling these uh streams apex funded account risk-free trading and I, cons I, I consider risk-free trades because I can't lose any money here uh, in terms of my actual capital and so uh, you know 
that's the nice thing about the funded uh, accounts. It's risk free. You know, if I lose all my money right here, if I lose, uh, you know, five thousand dollars, then so be it. I mean, I don't actually lose that money. But if I gain money, I actually do gain that. So uh, that's the nice thing about these prop firms. So risk free trading at the moment. Yeah, right now we are at 1,614 on this account, funded account. And uh, about, I'm up 500 because I took a couple of trades right off of that uh, announcement. I didn't take this um, second entry long because I, it wasn't close enough to 20 MA, but that was a second entry long and uh, it broke up higher above this blue line in the mall. I put a stop order just right above this blue line and I took a scalp there and that was you know, $250 scalp. And also I took a scalp here off of this three, which was a two legged pullback failure, A, B, C, and it makes more than a point, but still I took it as a failure because of the context we were in. So the setup wasn't necessarily perfect, but I like this, I like the context and I took that uh, reversal. So we're up 500 paying us, and technically I could be done for today. <laughs> You know, five hundred dollars a day keeps the, the keeps the boss away. And so, five hundred dollars a day. If you traded and you made five hundred dollars a day, that's about a hundred. Uh, I believe like a hundred k salary. Hundred k a year, six digit salary, making five hundred dollars a day. And that's because trading days. I believe there's around like two hundred. 250 or 200 trading days in a year. I think of 500. Let me look that up. Two hundred fifty-two trading days in a year. Two hundred fifty-two times two fifty. Sorry, five hundred. It's a hundred twenty-six thousand dollars salary or income. Uh, a year if you can make 500 a day so hey we're at a good pace here 500 so technically I kind of met like my goal $500 a day uh, with just two simple trades off the morning here pre-market and it came off good volatility because of that news report see the, the news report really at the end doesn't really give us direction in my opinion because it was terrible. The news was terrible. But why aren't we why, why aren't we falling? Why aren't we dropping? So the news doesn't really do anything. What it does in terms of direction, what it does in my opinion actually just helps us with volatility. But the price action is the same, pandas. Right? You just gotta trade a lot quicker, a lot more nimble, and sometimes if the volatility is a lot, then the candles can be very large. But the nice thing about the tick candles, the the size of the candles don't change much. The size of the candles don't change much, which is nice. The size of the candles on the five minute are crazy on high volatility. But on tick charts, because it's based on volume, uh, instead of the size of the candle being affected, it's the, the, um, the, the quickness of the candle changes. And so that's where you kind of have to adjust and uh, be more nimble. But I mean, you get some big candles like this, you know, on the 2000 tick chart. Now, there are some big candles it doesn't mean that every candle is the same size, but uh, from my experience, um, the candle size doesn't change that much in high volatility. What changes is how many candles are uh, are printed. The frequency of the candles is a lot quicker on high volatility. So that's why I like the tick chart, especially on high volatility, because the price action is still the same though. You know, no matter what, it, the price action will still be the same. It's just, you gotta be a lot more nimble. You gotta be a lot quicker to enter trades and get out of trades. But what a day yesterday, right, Pandas? What a day yesterday. I mean, when I look at the daily chart, it's just a pretty strong green candle. Um, but I've mentioned this many times, you know, if we break and actually make the second entry, we could trap here, especially being underneath the 20MA. And the 10,000 tick chart is 
printing a pretty I mean I wouldn't mind going short here on the 10,000 tick chart to be honest also we have a wedge here on the 10,000 tick we have a wedge here with four hits right or expanding triangle you know whatever you want to call it we also have expanding triangle here and um, we don't quite hit it we get close we get really close and we come back up and now we're hitting the top of this triangle again so you could go short here if you wanted to trade against this triangle um will i trade short here mm, i probably sit on my pause i want to find a nice reversal pattern if i if i find a trap underneath the 20 may around this area I'll, I'll consider taking it you know this is a micro double top at the moment but i i'm still looking for that new high pandas like i want that new high but we also have an l4 setup right here the second entry long does trigger. We're still above the 20 EMA on the 20, on the 2000 tick chart. Sorry. Can't talk right now. Pandas, my pandas. Jonathan Hotspa says, risk free trading. How did you, how did you that? How did you that? I think you forgot your, uh, one of your verbs. Who passed it for you? <laughs> uh, this panda, you know, has a shadow trader and, um, you know, I let this shadow trader trade for me off stream. We do have a potential trap trade reversal here. I just really don't like the fact that we haven't made a new high yet, but and we're still above the 20 MA. That's tricky in my opinion. You know, it's hard for me to take that short here, this trap. Right, we have a second entry, second entry long makes less than a point. A, B, C is making less than a point so far. So if it reverses here, it'll be a trap. But look at it, pandas. We still have a new high to make, and we also are above the 20 MA. So there are a couple things going against me to enter this trade, but um, you know, if you really, if if you're a swing trader, you can consider taking this trade. And if you want to swing uh, a big trade, you know, making two times your risk reward, then it might be worth it. But my opinion, I'm still waiting for my setup. Still waiting for my setup. I bet you guys want to know who the, the shadow trader is. The person who trades for me off stream. Bet you really want to know who that is. Pandas, my pandas. Make sure you guys scalp that like button. Where's my pin message? Also, if you guys are interested in risk-free trading, you guys can sign up for Apex as well. Man, this trap may trigger here, but I do not like the setup. I like the con. Well, I kind of like the setup. I just don't like the context. Let's say that. I like the fact that we broke this this trend and we tried to make a new high. We're failing to do so. And what should have happened, pandas, is that this two-legged pullback should have made a new high. But instead, it's my trap here, pandas. And this trap could trigger a big reversal. It might be worth the fact that it could be a big reversal to take this. I may consider taking it because of that. Man, man, oh man, oh man. I just don't like how it's above the 20 minute, but the risk might be worth it because the reward might be huge. The reward might be really large here. Might be really, really large here. Pandas. Man, I may take it just for the fact that we might have a good risk reward here. Man, but uh, I do not like the fact that we're above the 20 MA. I did not like that. But I feel like we can get a really big risk reward, a really nice risk reward here. And might consider taking this pandas. I'm gonna try to take this pandas. I'm gonna take this trap here.
This could bite me in the butt, but I'm gonna take this trap. I'm in this trap trade. I'm gonna swing this trade. My first target will be two times the risk reward here. That's my first target. My second target, I'll try to have an infinite runner. So we're in this trade right now, pandas, and I'm taking it because the risk reward is really good here. And um, we could have a very big reversal here, but my first target will be two times my risk reward, which is two times this signal bar. And this is what we find here, down here. I may come up here and I may scale in one time, but if, if, if it's a failed reversal, I typically don't like to scale in. I had to scale in if we're like in an uptrend. Actually, if we're, if I was going long, I would scale in, because if we're in an uptrend, then you like to scale in long. Or if you're in trading range, then you like to scale in, in the you know fading the breakouts. But right now, if this fails, this could just continue upwards for a very long time. So I'm not planning to scale in here. I make my scalp here already. But the thing about swing trading is, pandas, you gotta hold on to your. You gotta hold on to your trade, even if it comes back up here. Like a lot of us will be tempted to come down here to break even, plus one. But for swing trading, you actually have to stick to your risk reward here. Unless you start to see some funny action that you really don't like, then you would uh, change it. But because the risk reward was good here, I'm gonna try to swing trade this, which is two times your risk reward, or two legs down. There's a couple ways that you can do this. You can either have two legs down and then you can stop your swing trade and maybe it reverses here. You can come out right here for the swing trade or you want at least two legs down, you know, because the market likes to move in twos. And so two moves down mean that this reversal could be done or you want 10 bars. Count 10 bars or you can hit your target, which is two times your risk reward. And so right now I'm waiting for my two times risk reward here to see if we can get a nice swing trade. And then I'm gonna move to break even plus one and then we're gonna to try to get an infinite runner here if we can. Because this could be the reversal of the day. And we could really come and make a we could break yesterday's low. We could. But the problem with the um the trailing drawdown is if I make too much money on my on this uh, runner and I and it reverses on me and I still have unrealized gains, it can actually affect my uh my trade and so I'm gonna have to manage my runner very tightly because of that until I can pass my uh, drawdown. The the uh, until I can get rid of the uh, trailing drawdown. So pandas, we're swinging two contracts right now to try to hit our two times risk reward. That's our first target. Our second target will be like this infinite. You know, we're gonna just trail the the stop loss here. Just waiting, pandas. Even if it comes back up here, you you I mean, you have to hold your your original stop loss. And I could have scalped out already, obviously, and kept my runner. But I'm gonna try swing this because of the potential of it being a reversal. So I'm gonna just hold on to this and see what happens. I'm completely okay losing this for this potential here. Just waiting, sitting on my paws. Pandas, my pandas. I may come out break even plus one just to protect some profits or to protect my capital here, but eh, I'm okay. I'm really okay. It's only two contracts. I'm not worried here at all. Market's about to open though. I may not want to be in a trade when the market opens because it can spike me out. It can spike out here, but we shall see. Just waiting, just waiting. 
I wanted to at least hit my two times risk reward here. And again, Pants, I could have scalped out. I know I could, but I'm holding it for the reversal. Because I'm holding for the reversal, I'm actually gonna let this play out here. And it kind of sucks because I could have made profit already. But it's all good, Pandas. The potential for the swing trade here, I think, is worth the risk. And so I'm just holding on to this. And if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. And we move on to the next trade. Simple as that. It's not looking good for me though, Pandas. Uh, looks like it wants to stop me out. It says no swing trade for you. And typically I would scale in, but because uh, we could be on a uptrend still, I don't want to scale in because that could really break. That could really break, not break the account, but it could be a big loss. So I'm not scaling in here. I'm just gonna let it play out. What I could do is if I'm not feeling confident at all is I can skunk this trade and just take, you know, just skunk it and move on to the next trade. But I'm gonna just hold on to this trade, see what happens. Now we're above the 20 MA, which is not good. Well, that trap there was a, good for a scalp, but not for a swing trade. It doesn't look like it's gonna be good for a swing trade. It looks like it's gonna stop me out. Because of also the direction, it looks like the 20 MA is starting to rise up a little bit. And also it's two strong bull bars in a row, which is not good for, you know, if you're short at the moment. All right, I got stopped out there, but it's all good pandas. I wanted that swing trade, and uh, you could have scalped out and just take your profits, but it's all good, pandas. Moving on to the next trade. But that's honestly, that's how it is sometimes. You gotta just take those risks, and uh, yeah. It is what it is. Now that reversal might happen, maybe my one mistake was I shouldn't have been in a trade during the open because I, I feel like that volatility would just spike me out right here, which it did. And now it might make the reversal that I was looking for, but we shall see. Still sitting on my pause. Now we got a double top here. We got this, now we have a double top. Reversal might happen now, but it's okay, I missed it. That's a shame. That's a shame. If this reverses here, that's a shame because I was in that trade. I could have moved my stop loss one tick above this swing here. You know what, Pandas? Maybe uh, what I messed up on was my swing trade. If I was swinging this, I actually had to use this pivot to mark my swing trade. This is the actual pivot for the swing trade. I actually had a stop loss for a scalp, but if you wanted to swing trade, I think your swing trade has to be up here. But then if that's the case, your risk reward would be way down here. And it's all good pandas. I don't mind losing that. The risk reward in my opinion was worth it. Now we're going up. So good thing I didn't have my stop loss there because I wouldn't have stopped that right there if, with an even bigger stop loss. Those are all good pandas. We're just sticking to the plan here. And then so like, honestly, that could have been big potential to like really reverse the market. But above the 20 May, eh. I mean, it was good enough for a scalp, just not good enough for a swing. It's all good, pandas. I'm getting a big move up though right now. 
very strong move up. The five minute candle, your first five minute candle looks like this. Off of the 20 MA, very bullish. The daily, we could come back to the 20 EMA on the daily, which is a place I mentioned in the chat saying, when we trigger that second entry long, our target might be the, the 20 EMA on the daily, which is at 46.21 right now. <clears throat> so we can mark it 46, 21. It's not that far away. It's just right here. This is the 20 EMA on the daily. I'll mark it here blue. So we got blue line here, which is the 20 EMA. <clears throat> So we finally made our new high, which is what I was waiting for, right? Breaker trend to new high. And this new high needs to be a two-legged -like pullback if we're gonna ever reverse it. it. Has to be its own two-legged -like pullback before reversing. And this could this is actually two-legged -like pullback, but I don't like the shape of this two-legged -like pullback at all. Nor the signal bar. That is actually this is actually a two-legged -like pullback here. A, B, one tick, C. Actually, a couple of ticks, two ticks. See, now it's reversing. Terrible signal bar, but scalps would point out very easily. That's not what I'm looking for. Typically, you, you want a higher high on that second entry, <clears throat> especially when it comes to reversals. So, I'm thinking we're still in an uptrend here. Pretty strong bull bar on the five minute forming. Strong bull bar on the 10K chart. Now we're hitting 20 MA on the 2K chart. Let's see if we get a two legged pullback off of this. If not, if this traps, I may take the trap here to go short. I may take the trap here to go short, but we shall see. <clears throat> You know, we already have a couple of these break of trends and new highs. It doesn't even trigger our second entry long. So that trap, we could not, we didn't have the setup. It almost, it made a double top and it's now traversing. It, you know, that's the thing. You gotta wait for the, you gotta wait for the setup. It didn't happen, but I was waiting for it and it didn't give us our second entry long before making its move down. And it went, it went on without us. It's all good, pandas. We'll wait for the next setup. But it almost made that second entry long, missed it by two ticks. But the market was too eager to short it. Way too eager to short it. It didn't allow the second entry long to trigger. Maybe I reload my historical, maybe my ticks are off a little bit here. Right, that's a new high we're waiting for. No trap, no setups. Unfortunately, that setup didn't didn't get it for us. I, I wanted to enter it short here, or a fail second entry long because of the pattern here. But unfortunately, the, the market moved was too eager. Sorry, I'm reloading my historical, so it's gonna be frozen for a little bit on stream. I want to make sure I didn't miss a tick here. If I if I want to make sure these uh, candles are forming correctly here. All right, I didn't miss it. It was accurate. <clears throat> Got an H4 set up here, but I'm not interested in going long. I'm actually interested in going short. I think I believe we're in a downtrend at the moment, and this is how our downtrend looks like. Very steep downtrend. Typically, I like, use, I like to use the first pivot here. Man, oh man, I wish I wish we got that second entry long so we could enter that trap, but never happened, pandas. Didn't happen. Yeah, the five minute. 
printed a pretty strong bull bar, but no follow through. In fact, this bear bar is stronger than that bull bar. We do have a two legged pullback here. I'm interested in taking sh going short. If we have it, we trigger this. Terrible signal bar, but still interesting going short here. Really terrible signal bar. Not interested any longer. Ooh. Mm, nah, still not interested. Pandas, my pandas. On stream. Lost my first trade, but I could have scalped out as you could have as you could see. I could have scalped out here and just had my runner. And but I was looking for a swing trade here and it just didn't happen, pandas. Sometimes you lose those, right? Sometimes it's just it is what it is and you don't get those swing trades. But I thought the risk reward was worth it and I didn't mind taking it. I didn't mind losing that. It's all good, Pandas. We do have a two-legged pullback here with a huge wick. A, B, C. Big signal bar. Kind of made me worry. I didn't want to enter that with a big signal bar like that. Another problem is... Right, the five-minute... The 10K and the five-minute are right on 20 MA. So I thought I could provide some support for this, but it's, a good, it's good for a scalp here. That's all you're really looking for, a scalp. The reversal happens up here after that new high was created and... Man, I wish we had that trap trade. I wish we could have gotten that trap, but... Oh, the market didn't give it to us. The market was too stingy. And it is what it is. You know, at the end, there's no FOMO because there's no setup. And if there's no setup, you can't enter the trade. And it is what it is. Now we're dropping here big time. Could just be an opening reversal here. I'm still looking to go short pandas. We do have a break of trend to new, uh, break of trend here to new low. But still looking for a short because this is not a move. This is not a moving average gap. It looks more like a spike in channel of some sorts here. To me. Pandas, my pandas, hope you guys are doing well. It's Friday. Friday, Friday, Friday. Glad that you guys are joining the stream. I really do enjoy everybody's company here. Take a trap trade on the 10,000 tick chart if we get it. It's a Pikachu trade, but it's not close enough to the 20 main nor a key entry. So, not taking that Pikachu, it's way too far, it's like too far away from our entries here. But 10,000 tick chart might trigger a second entry long and it might be a trap. And I'll be considering taking that trap. That's a little closer to where I would like it. Hmm. I really wish that second entry long triggered on the 10k chart so I could take the trap reversal. But it doesn't trigger. It misses by one tick. The market's just teasing us everywhere. I'm not gonna take the short. I'm not gonna take the short. Could be a good second entry short though, but I'm not taking it. Too close to yesterday's close. Could act as support here. Plus, still waiting for that second entry long to trigger on the 10k chart, which would be nice.
just watching, just watching pandas. I still have a short bias right now. Man, oh man. Outside bar reversal. Outside bar reversal. What is that? Not interested in outside bar reversal. In fact, this is an H4 pattern. But not interested in trading this H4 either. I, I, it seems like we're in a strong downtrend, Pandas. Like we should have reversed around this area, but instead we're pushing down further with an outside bar reversal and it's successful. Both the outside bar reversal and the actual trap triggering are both successful. Very strong downtrend in my opinion at the moment. Man, that's the reversal of the hour. It just didn't give us our setup pandas, which is unfortunate. It didn't give us our second entry long so we can enter a trap trade. Uh, I was benching while I was forming. I was like, I'll take a trap here, but the trap never triggered. Right, the second entry long never triggered, so we couldn't get our trap, which is unfortunate. And this was a two legged pullback, but I didn't like that entry. I didn't like the signal bar, nor do I, I, I didn't like the fact that we didn't make a higher high. Right, we just made a two legged pullback, and it does reverse here at the two legged pullback. We're on the 240 SMA now. It could act as support. Oh, pandas, my pandas. It's unfortunate. I, I don't mind missing this trade either with it. L4 setup outside bar reversal. I'm completely fine, okay, missing outside bar reversals. The 10,000 tick chart that we are in a trading range according to 10,000 tick chart. But in my opinion, pandas. We could have a strong bear trend day today, and we can break yesterday's low. Still, in my opinion, today. We, it can happen. The L4 setup off of 240 SMA. Successful for a scalp. Unfortunately, also on the 10,000 tick chart, we don't even get our second entry long. We miss it by one tick. And I was ready to take the trap on this side as well, but didn't trigger. Right, the second entry long didn't trigger, so we didn't get our trap today. It's the day of just teasing our traps here, teasing our second entry longs to get into his traps, just teasing us. That means the market is just too eager to enter the trades that they're willing to enter on micro double tops. They're not even waiting for the failed second entry longs. They're waiting. They're the second entry. The micro double tops are good enough for today's market, right? Micro, micro double top was good enough right here. Micro double top was good enough right here and then when it broke the low people entered it as a trap micro double top is enough for today's market to uh trigger those traps on the bottom which is unfortunate for me because i only take second entry longs or traps and so it is what it is Just waiting, just waiting. And the awesome thing about this pandas is that this actually creates a gap here, right? If you were able to take that trap, your stop loss would have been right here. One tick, so here's, you're entered right here, one tick under break even, you would actually still be in a runner right now. And that's the nice thing about that reversal. Beautiful. But it is what it is pandas. We just stick to the plan, and we, even if that did setup didn't happen, you know, it's unfortunate, but we just move on. We just wait for our setup. Another outside bar reversal here with a trap. That is actually successful for a scalp as well. Absolutely incredible. The outside bar reversals are all scalping out to the downside. Again, showing to me that this is a strong bear trend. Coming up now, outside bar reversal reverses up. Tricky, tricky market. That's that's a little tricky here, right? In this bar, we had an outside bar reversal and it reverses on that one bar, all in one bar. I'm gonna sit on my pause here. 
I do think we're in a strong downtrend, but I don't like it where I don't like where we're at right now. Do not like the positioning where we are to go short here. Mainly because we're at the bottom of this spiking channel, right? When we're in towards the bottom of the channel, it's like a trading range. You do not want to go into the bottom of it. So those who are able to scalp out there, you know, congrats, but risky trade. Pandas, my pandas. Today is Friday, so I do have an extended stream for you guys today. Uh, let's try to get to um, let's try to get to 150 likes by 11 o'clock. 150 likes till 11 o'clock, and then uh, we'll uh, extend the stream. We'll extend the stream till like 12 ish. Pandas, my pandas. This is getting choppy right now, as you can see. Very choppy. Overlapping bars, trading range indicator, identifying this chop, saying this is getting choppy here, hard to enter trade here. But downtrend is so strong. Again, pandas. We don't even make a second entry long. That's how eager the bears are to trade. Right, we cannot make a second entry long right now on the 10,000 tick chart. We missed it by two ticks this time. And the market said, uh-uh, we want it going short. Give us any entry. And when it broke below this low, again, it's acting as a trap. But did it, it doesn't even trigger our second entry longs today. That's absolutely incredible. We're not getting our setups because the market is too eager to go short. And by the time the market actually does create the second entry long, it'll be too late. <laughs> that's how it works. That's, a, that's the market timing. By the time your setup does come, it's too late for you to trade your setup. Sitting on my pause here, the 10,000 tick chart, we just missed the bottom of the trading range by one tick. Yeah, I was looking for a reversal like this for today, and I thought it was going to happen here, but rather happened up here on this trap, which is not really a trap, but you know, when you look at it optically, it's a trap. It certainly acted as a trap reversal. So that's how I know because of the price action, I could tell that this was a trap, but we just didn't get our setup. Didn't get our setup that I was looking for. Market's way, way too eager right now to enter short. We we broke through the bottom of the trading range on the 10,000 tick chart. Yesterday's low is way down here, and uh, I still think we can break it. You know, when you look at the daily chart, I think we can make and we can possibly even come down here. Could happen, but likely, not sure. As you can see, we had a spike in channel, and now the spike in channel is even more steep. And so, oh, you know, at this point, where where's my spike in channel? I don't even know. Is this my spike in channel? Right, break here. Try to break out here, fail. Try to break out again, failed. Probably fits better like this right now. This is my spiking channel, and this is, see this is the strength, you can tell by the strength of the bears because we kept missing our second entries on this 10k. Right? We missed the second entry here, micro double top, micro double top again. And we can tell the, the bears are very strong, the bears are very strong. Like, I want to almost take this trap because the bears are so strong, but context is terrible. You know, I, I mean, I'm just waiting for a two-legged pullback. I'm taking any two-legged pullback to go short at this moment. This is a simple two-legged pullback, even though it's very ugly. It was simply a two-legged pullback, but the reason why it was ugly is because of this price action. When we look at the charts rendered, that's how it looks like, very simple. But if we remember the price actions, app, what actually happened was this. A, B, C, trap, comes up, then reverses. Very tricky price action right there. Because this one candle was outside of our reversal and then reversed again. Like three reversals almost in one candle. Doesn't even give us a two legged pullback. Gives us a first entry. <laughs> this bear trend is strong, pandas. 
And I really, I, want, I was looking for the reversal. This is like, remember when I was saying we could have a really strong reversal because it could be on forever. This is exactly what I'm talking about. I just entered too soon. It actually triggered up here, unfortunately. It is what it is, though, Pandas. We move on. We just didn't find a setup, but we can't find anything right now. Terrible. Literally, bears are just selling right at the close. They're selling right at the close. They're just selling right away. Give us any reason to go short, they'll take it. Pandas, my pandas, my pandas. Now we're breaking this adjusted spike in channel. I adjusted it because it was so steep, I had to adjust it. And now it's breaking down the even steeper spike in channel. Absolutely incredible pandas. And we're missing it all because no setups. We missed the main reversal here. And it is what it is. That's what I was looking for, but. So we lost our first trade because I was looking for this potential. This potential was here today. And I missed it. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Mm, ten points. Scalp on the daily, that's what that means. Pandas, my pandas. All right, pandas, what's happening here? I mean, we're breaking down, but no setups, pandas. I, I just, there's no way for me to enter this. And uh, it might, I might not be able to enter for a long time. But, yep, that's the swing trade I was looking for. That's That could be one one scalp, one contract, over $1,000 already. Right, that was triggered here. Man, 4,600 down to, whoo! It's about a 50-point con. 50 points on one contract, that's about $2,500. Okay, pandas, now we're coming back into our channel here. Right, giving some breathing room for the market. This happens to be exactly at the 240 SMA on the 10K chart. There's no coincidences in the market. I mean, when you see this, you're just thinking strong bear trend day today. And I'm looking for any reason to really go short, but I'm not gonna go short here. Actually, we'll see. If we get a good signal bar off the 20 MA, I'd, be, I'd consider it. I would rather come off a short off of this trend line here. I just think the market wants to breathe a little bit. I just don't like how the first leg is so strong. Because that means if the second entry triggers, it's gonna look like really small like this, and typically those trap. Yeah, nice little push up here. 20 EMA though, acting as resistance, potentially. Right, there's no moving average gap right now. No moving average gap so far, this entire time. This could be a first entry, this might be all we get here. So if you're very eager, you can enter short here and scale in if it goes up one more time and then scale in again. And then if that stops out, then you're out of the trade. But if you're very eager to come in here, you can come in with the first entry and scale in. And that's what basically all these traders were doing. You know, they're coming with first entries and they're, they're willing to scale in. Optically two leg pullback. A B C optical two leg pullback. Hidden second entry. Could be a two leg pullback here. We do have an overshoot, so we could look for overshoot on this side as well. But I mean I don't have a setup pandas. I just don't have it. I don't have a two leg pullback. I have nothing here. We still haven't had our uh, first entry yet. Right? We still haven't had our um, first entry so we can trigger our second pullback. We have our first pullback here. Right, this is one pullback. All one pullback until we break this. You know, previous candles low. This on a smaller time frame is simply a spike in channel. 
This is a spiking channel on a smaller time frame. Spiking channel, smaller time frame. There's no entry here as far as the pandas. In fact, even this triggers, I can't take this short. Even though it's on a good spot, it was right off our trend line. I can't take it. It's the first, it's the first entry pandas. Oh, and that's a nice scalp. Right off our trend line that we have marked up here with these three pivots. Or this pivot, this pivot, this pivot. I was waiting for a second entry short, but never triggered. Unfortunately, pandas. It's the name of the game today. Name of the game. Market's being stingy. Oh, we could have a lower high second entry here, but the market is just being stingy. It's giving us no setups, unfortunately. Just waiting now. Look at that first entry. People were eager to enter that first entry, willing to scale in one time. And uh, that's, you know, they were able, they were rewarded for their taking their risk here. micro double bottom I'm actually surprised because we can actually still trigger our second entry short here but we have a double bottom now our second entry does trigger as in we got us we got our second pullback and so we have a second entry and the next reversal it's just a terrible spot right now terrible spot right now I like it to be closer to 20 ma it is really far away from the 20 ma Terrible signal bar if you're to take that short. Ooh, comes right back to our trend line here. Very interesting with a double bottom. I mean, uh, pandas, I gotta go short here. I, <laughs> I have to go short here. If it comes back down here, I have to go short. I, I just I have to. I have to. That's just terrible signal bar again. Oh, these signal bars are so bad. I gotta go short, pandas. I have to go short. Even on these terrible signal bars, I gotta go short here. I gotta go short here. Offer trend line again. Does trigger, gotta go short. Scalps us out. I could've let that marinate a little bit, but let's go baby. I could've let that marinate a little bit. I had to go short there. Even with the terrible signal, but I had to go short because of the context. Strong bear trend, you, you just gotta take that. It is what it is. But maybe let it marinate a little bit for potential of a really strong push down still. Ah, could have let it marinate a little bit. I was just worried it was gonna like reverse and maybe break above the trend line. Slightly worried about that, so I wanted to move my stop quickly. Um, but it is what it is. It's that market today. It's kind of market today we're in. You know. If you're on your trend line, also 20 MA, you gotta take that short. I mean, that's a nice short. I mean, if I if I wasn't on stream, I would trade a five contracts right there. That'd have been a five contract trade for sure. That trap, nope. That we had a trap trade setting up here. No trap for us. This could be final flag type uh, formation, but in my opinion, as long as this trend line is still here, we're in a downtrend. I'm gonna trade it. I'm gonna trade accordingly. 
maybe on the higher time frame we can get a better picture of our man oh man oh man look at that hmm 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 that looks better I mean, we're in a strong downtrend. I'm not looking to go long still. And um, yeah, I'll take another second entry short if we get it. But we need to get it first. Second entry long here. Doesn't even trigger. Micro double top again. Give us our second entry. Give us our second pullback, please. So we can enter short again. A, B, C, micro double top. Market is being so stingy. It's being so stingy right now. It's not giving us our second pullback. <laughs> it, it gives a scalp here. It's it's, it's an optical two legged pullback. A, B, C, and it makes a two legged pullback. Optically, hidden second entry. But not technically a second entry because we didn't break a previous candle's high. And it's going to happen like down here which is going to be not as good context okay we finally get our second pullback do i want to take a second entry short here not close to our okay getting closer getting closer okay mm, pretty close uh, mm, off the 20 ma i'd rather have it off my trend line but or at least a little higher on the 20 MA. That does scalp out for you anyways. That was a two-legged pullback off the 20 MA, but pretty decent signal bar as well. I just wish it was a little higher. I wish it was like up. I wish it actually touched the 20 MA at least. Or broke above it a little bit for me. But it just missed it and I, I was scared and actually it doesn't give us more than a scalp here right now. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't think that was gonna give us much more than a scalp. This is actually a better area here, but this failed second entry short triggers here, and ah, uh, I gotta go short here. I gotta go short here, pandas. With a decent signal bar, I gotta keep going short as long as we're on this trend line. Closing above it with a strong bull bar. Canceling this order here now. Trading range indicator marking the trading range at the moment. But still looking to go short here, but uh, it's hard now because like we're above the 20 MA. Yeah, we're above the 20 MA now. Don't like that. I like the fact we're above the 20 minute and above our trend line here. Could trap us out. I'm not interested in this trap either. I'm interested in a failed trap. I'm actually interested if this comes back down now. I'm actually interested now because that's a failed trap outside bar reversal. I'm actually interested in going short here if it triggers this again. I'm actually interested in going short here. Does trigger the trap. Trap is failing at the moment. Trap is still failing. I'm actually considering taking this L4 setup to go short here. Going short here, pandas. L4 setup. It's not what you want to see. You want to see a scap up quick? Let's go, baby. No runners. Let's go baby. L4 setup. Let's get our bamboo. Oh, just enjoy that panda ASMR. I love my I love my new animation. Unfortunately it gets stopped out, but it is what it is. An L4 setup on a strong downtrend with a failed trap, right? That that trap fails here. For those who are trying to counter trade counter trend trade this they try to come reversal here but you know it's just not it's not it's not there yet 
in my opinion, needs to make a new low here. This is the first breaker trend, in my opinion. Again, it tries to break up. I don't know if the bull or the bears are going to give up that easily here. Unfortunately, no, um, no runners though right now. It's getting kind of choppy. Now we're kind of like right, staying above the 20 May, which is weird. Uh, we close underneath the 20 May. I'm, I'm expecting another push down. I'm, I'm expecting a, a new low here sometime soon, especially with this L4 setup. I'm actually, if this makes a lower high second entry here, I'll take it. I'll take a lower high second entry. I'm looking for any reason to go short right now. And unfortunately, we're not getting our lower high second entry here. We just have a lower high, but not a lower high second entry. And it is what it is, Panda. This is all good. We just wait for our next setup. Jonathan Hospa says, Panda, what scares you about live stream trading? It's not what scares me. It's more the, f it's more the fact that I get pressured. I feel pressure to enter trades that I typically would enter. Plus, talking and trying to, like, you know, articulate, you know, what I'm seeing while I'm trying to trade, like, I feel like a step behind because I'm, like, trying to process how to articulate everything and at the same time trying to read the markets. And so it's uh, it puts me a step behind, which also affects my trading. Strong push down. Yep. Any reason to go short, right? Failed trap, failed reversal right here. I was looking for that new low, finally got the new low. Technically, we can look for a reversal here, but our downtrend is so strong. Uh, I actually wanna take this trap here. I actually wanna take this trap here. Ooh. I actually still wanna enter this trap. All right, waited too long, waited too long for that. I actually like that trap trade. To make our second leg down here. Now we have two legs down, right? Break a trend to two legs down. A, B, C. So we could have a nice bounce here. Right? The market could take a breather here. I wouldn't be surprised if it does. Breathing a little bit, right? Coming back up. We could have a small reversal here. In my opinion, we can have a small reversal. Right? Because break a Break a trend to new low with a two-legged pullback. Nice small reversal here. We can try to reverse the market once again here. I may be interested in taking a reversal here, but the market is strong downtrend. I don't know if the setup will even come to us. Let's just say that. Jason, welcome to the stream. Glad you can join us. Let me say, let me read some of my chats here. It's been so focused on the market. We're getting a lot of a lot of movement right now. Another reason why we know this downturn is so strong is because there are gaps everywhere. Right here, this low has not been filled yet. Right, that low of this candle has not been filled yet. We're getting so many of these gaps here. Right, this this runner has probably been filled here with that candle. That's fine. This one just filled. I mean, we're just getting so many gaps here. I mean, this gap, the infamous gap here that I missed in the morning, that has not been filled yet. Little gap here. Actually, the gap is right here. Two legged -like pullback. <laughs> Do I want to take this two legged -like pullback? It's so choppy. It's so choppy. It's such a choppy two legged -like pullback. Ah, uh, we don't get it, anyways. We need a good setup, though. Okay, getting a reversal here. I may take a trap trade to the long side here, pandas. Because we're above the 20 May and now it's a double break, right? Break here. And now we're getting another break, strong bull bar ending near its high. And also after new low, two-legged pullback, right? So we've got a lot of things going for us here to take this reversal here. 
And I'll be willing to take a reversal here. Um, yeah, if we get a trap trade though, we need this to trigger and trap and reverse. So I'm gonna prime up my order here and we're gonna wait for a trap trade to the long side. Let's see if we can get a trap trade here. Trap disappears, but I'm gonna keep it here because this to me still looks like a trap, like a failed reversal. I'm gonna keep it here, I'm gonna take this and uh, maybe go two points on my main, main position, two points. If we trigger this, I'm still considering this trade. If we break below here to low, no longer interested. No longer interested in making a new low right now. The market tried to reverse there. It tried to. The bulls tried with all their might, tried to reverse there, and the bull, the bear said, not today. Not right now. Too soon. Too soon, Junior. Pandas, my pandas. Make sure you guys scalp that like button. By the way, if you guys are just joining the stream, I'm Bye Bye Money. And you are joining risk-free trading all because of Apex funded trading, funded account. I was able to get a funded account from Apex and so every trade I'm taking right now is zero risk to me. It's only profits. And so um, I'm glad that you guys can join us. Uh, and if you pass the evaluation from Apex, typic te technically every trade I'm taking now is risk-free. And so, uh, you know, if you guys are interested in the Apex, uh, there is a pin message and that pin message um, on the top of the chat there is a coupon code and uh, it's 50 percent off for the evaluation so it's a good deal and uh, right now i'm trading uh, this funded account hundred fifty thousand dollar funded account on apex If you're new to the stream, I'm Bye Bye Money. And uh, we trade only one single instrument here, the E-Mini, the ES, the S&P Futures. We trade it here every single day. The reason why we trade this market is because it's the most liquid market in the world. Where typically every, every point or every bar is enough to make a scalp. And we trade only one single setup. It's a price action setup that looks like this. Two leg pullback, A, B, C. One push up, another push up, two pushes up here. First pullback, first entry, second pullback. And we like to enter into the second entries here. The reason why we like to enter second entries is because the market loves to move in twos. And so once the market makes two moves, right, that move is done and the market likes to reverse. So just here, two legged move, right? This is not necessarily a good two legged move, um, a two legged pullback, but that is a two legged pullback. And in the right context, you have a greater than 90% probability to make one point on the E-mini. And so uh, here we trade this one single setup. We get our bamboo. If you want more details about the setup, go ahead and look at the description below. There is a playlist going over the details of the two-legged pullback. Also on the screen, we have uh, a um, two indicators. We have the trading range indicator that marks trading ranges for us using price action. We also have a two-legged pullback indicator marking every single two-legged pullback for us with dark red or dark green numbers and also traps with magenta boxes. Ooh. Now the now the, the bulls are being stingy because we couldn't get our second entry short to enter a trap trade and uh, instead it does this. Ah, no entries for us. The market's being very stingy. It's not giving us our traps when we need them, when we want them. But pandas by pandas, if you want more uh, information about the indicators, especially the two-legged pullback indicator, uh, you can go to the official website, www.twoleggedpullback.com. Other than that, welcome to the stream, pandas. Make sure you guys scalp that like button. Jonathan Hospa as panda, is your plan to double the Apex account? Pandas my pandas, if I double the Apex account, that would be amazing. I'd probably just buy a new house. We do have a trap trade here. It's a little far away from the 20 MA, but I think it's a very good trap to make a point, in my opinion. Very high chance to make a point here. But, right, too far from the 20 MA. Not interested in, right, it's not close to our key area. 
It doesn't make a point though. It's reversing. It's failing at the moment. I'm not gonna take. I'm not gonna take the failure though. I'm not gonna take it. It's a little too far up. Now it makes a point. So it does scalp out. So that's why I said it's a very high chance that will make a point. It's just too far away from our uh, entry. The reason why is because right now, basically we are in an uptrend. We are in an uptrend right now, and we have break a trend to new high. And so I'm looking for a reversal here. Uh, this could be a good reversal, but terrible signal bar. Not interested. I am looking for a reversal here, back down here, uh, because we have break a trend to new high. And so we're in a strong downtrend. So we're looking for any reversal, especially if it's a reversal from a bull trend. We have an H5. I'm going to take a short entry here if this fails. I will trade a failed H5 here. No longer interested. Right, that H5 actually makes a point. So now we have a strong bull trend. H4 failure. We're kind of back up here. This is where I mentioned that um, we have a gap here. And it might fill that gap now. There's a gap here from this low. From this second to short. This is an entire swing trade. It might try to fill that gap. It might try to fill the gap. If we notice on the, the 10,000 tick chart, we just hit our heads right on the uh, 20 EMA. Possibly causing this reversal, but this is a spike in channel, right? Spike, channel. So we're just sitting on our pause here. I would need a lower high or something like that to enter short, but no entries here. In my opinion, I thought we're gonna fill this gap here, but the market doesn't wanna fill this gap. Bouncing off the 20 EMA now on the 2K chart. Would like some sort of reversal pattern here. Basically, I need a fail second entry long. That's a lower high setup. Could be a second entry long here, where it's a hidden second entry long because in one candle, we made both this A, B, C pattern for breaks up and breaks below. I'll be entering short. Now we actually do trigger the second entry long. Our second, uh, sorry, sorry, the second pullback. So now we have two pullbacks, A, B, C. If we get small second entry long here, I'm looking for a reversal trade. It's a good signal bar, but bad context, in my opinion, to go long here. I will be going short here on a trap if we get it. Gotta time this perfectly here. Time this perfectly. Wow, that's a really bad signal bar. Really bad signal bar. Uh, I'll take it. Any reason to go short, I'll really take it right now. Especially we bouncing off the 20 EMA like this on the 10K chart. I'll look to go short here. In this trade. Signal bar is right here. Hits it one tick and reverses. Immediately fills me. Uh, could let this marinate a little bit. We could get a good runner here. That's a reversal pattern. We could get another gap here. Hopefully we can get a nice runner here. That'd be amazing. But like I said, that trap trade, we look for any reversal on the uptrend because it's strong downtrend. That's a reversal trade here. I have no reason to move my stop loss. Even if it stops me out, I wouldn't really manage this any other way. If that stops me out, it is what it is. But there's just no other way to manage this because we didn't get enough room for our swing. So hopefully we can get enough room for our swing here. It is what it is if I get stopped out and I'll move on. Next trade. It looks like it wants to stop me out though. Keeps keeps like uh, meddling around here and it stops me out. It's all good, Panda. Let's go, baby.
getting our bamboo. Get your bamboo. Let's go, baby. It's unfortunate, you know, we just didn't get enough room for a runner. Now, where we typically before were making huge, you know, swing downs, now our swings are kind of overlapping the previous swings. So we're not getting our runners as nicely as we were getting before. Strong move up now. We could be entering a training range and we're starting to get a head and shoulders pattern here as you guys can see. Right? What we want to see if this is a strong downtrend is a continuation breaking this low. But instead we are making these kind of head and shoulders, right? two shoulders right now. And so potentially can have a nice little reversal here but the higher tick time frame, the 10,000 tick, we still have the 200, we have the 20 EMA and we we still need to come back to the 20 MA on the five minute, right? 99% chance that we come back to the 20 MA. Or we touched or the 20 MA comes down to us either way, but we'll touch the 20 MA today on the five minute. 99% chance. It's a high probability. It doesn't really help. Well, it does help a little bit in training. Right? If you're far away from the 20 MA on the five minute, obviously, you know, you can uh, design your trades uh, to use that to your advantage. But um, you know, you have to have pretty big bankroll if you want to be able to fully take advantage of it or trade very small, like trade micros. And you're just scaling in every time you get it further away from 20 May. On the five minute, you just keep scaling in until you come back to the 20 May. Potential head and shoulders, but We hit, we tapped the 20 MA perfectly. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go short here, pandas. If we, if we trigger this uh, to like a pullback on the five minute or the 10K chart, I'm taking this short. I want this candle to finish though, but I will take this short here. Whoa, I need this to finish. I need this candle to finish here. All right, I'll go short here. Two legged pullback on the 10k chart. It's the first two legged pullback on the 10,000 tick. I'm gonna just keep my four point stop loss here because that's how much I'm willing to lose on this trade. And I'm not really willing to lose more than that on this any trade here. So it's a huge stop loss. Like, if I'm gonna really, I have to move my stop loss way up here. And I'm completely okay just losing this. It'll be four hundred dollars instead of like, you know, way up here like eighteen hundred, or like ten thousand. So I don't get that scalp, but it's all good, pandas. I, I'm not willing to lose more than that because this tra this candle's too large, and I'm just willing to lose that much on that can on that that trade. And it is what it is. And it's unfortunate, but. In my mind, if I were to trade that again, I'll have to trade even smaller. I'll have to trade one contract because my stop loss was not proper. My stop loss has to be up here for that trade. This, the tra this, this candle was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 point large candle. I'm not willing to risk 10 points on, on that uh, trade. I'm just willing to lose 4 points and if I don't get it, if I don't like scalp out immediately, I just assume that it's not going to work out, but it's all good pandas. Moving on to the next trade, we're ending negative on this stream, but um, it's all good. I still would take that trade. I'm still trading the way I would normally trade. It's just that my runners are dying too quick, and it, like the proportion to runner to your scalp ratio is really bad with a one-to-one. -one. But the only reason why I'm doing one-to-one -one right now with you guys is because I want to have a runner with you guys. 
And the only way to have that and reducing the amount of risk I have is doing a one-to-one. -one. And so if this traps, I'll be interested in a trap trade now at this point. It will confirm this head and shoulders, but not on outside bar reversal. Not on the outside bar reversal. Right now you just got stopped out. If I think it stopped out right there, I'm gonna stop that right there at four points or at 12 points, whatever. Could potentially go long here. I'm in a long trade here. And again, only willing to lose four points. And it's a trap trade to the long side. And I'm gonna get stopped out, pandas. I don't wanna get stopped out. Hopefully that trap trade could trigger at least one point for us. If it doesn't, I'm definitely going short here. But hopefully it gets one point for us here. Teasing us, teasing us. I will reverse my trade if this triggers. Let's go, baby. No runner. Making some bamboo back. It's all good. And so that's why I'm not willing to lose all of that because I would have lost all of that if I just didn't get stopped out right there. That would have been a huge loss for me. But the head and shoulders does trigger. Uh, kinda. Let's see. Yeah, I think it does trigger. But who knows if it'll be successful. I don't think it's confirmed yet. It does trigger though. The five minute also prints a two like a pullback. Wow. All right. Yep, the head and shoulders does trigger here. Getting some confirmation right here. That gap fills now. 10,000 tick chart traps here. With a little head and shoulders. Very interesting. I mean, in my opinion then, this was first break of trend to new low. Four pushes down. We may want to come back to the 20 MA on the five minute. That might be our target, but we shall see. Downtrend, uptrend. We need a new high. We need a new high here. We're getting choppy. Right, this trading range still valid. Ooh. Finally fills that gap though. This gap I mentioned here, that's why I erased it. We filled it, we bounced off of it. Finally filled it. So no longer interested in those gaps. It's filled. Almost wanna go short here, but I'm gonna set on my pause. So I think we're in an uptrend at the moment. We are in some sort of uptrend at the moment right now. Or we can be in trading range here. Could go short here, pandas. But I don't want to go short right into this uh, this trend line. But I think we can get to the bottom of the trading range, but not like if I see a trend line, I do not like to go short into it. And it is what it is. If it, if it comes down here, it's just it's context is not good. And that's exactly why I don't like to enter there. Because you bounce off something like that. I mean it could make it now, but you bounce off of it. They're thinking about bouncing it off there. In fact, I almost want to take this trap trade now because we have this trend line. But signal bar is terrible, all right? Finally broke down, but the market was fighting right there on that trend line. And uh, it could have gone either way, either way, but trading range prevails, and then we're coming back to the bottom trading range.
I'm gonna skip. I was gonna say this trap. I was gonna skip it because we're at the bottom of the trading range. I'm gonna skip this trap here. Right, outside bar reversal. Anyways, regardless. Outside bar reversal I actually might go long here. Look for that new high. Ooh, that happened really quick though. I was not ready for it. Hmm. Still think there's a little more juice to go up. Right, we come back to the bottom of the training range, top of the training range to the bottom of the training range. Come back to the top of the training range. It's getting choppy now. Pandas, my pandas, were a little red today. I was up 500, and now I'm down 1250. Ah, it's all good, pandas. Going back to the bottom of the training range before hitting the top of the training range. Little concerning for the bulls in my opinion. Let's see if we get a double bottom here. Nope, no double bottom. We're breaking below. Breaking way below. That might be the only breather the market gets here. Tricky, tricky. I really thought on the 10,000 tick, that tap here and the two-legged pullback wouldn't go, but I wanted to trap out one time, then reverse. It's unfortunate, but it is what it is, pandas. And, you know, I managed to trade how I typically would manage my trade. You know, it is, I'm not gonna risk more than that. Risk more than like $400 on stream, especially. I'll be interested in taking a trap trade here, if we can get it. If we can get a trap trade, I'll be interested in going short. But Marcus not giving us any traps, unfortunately. Ugh. Give us a setup, please. Stop being so stingy. Pandas, my pandas. Big push up, very interesting. Definitely not looking to go uh, short off the 20 main right now. With a push up like that, no way. Nope, not interested. There, there's some strong like volatility to the upside right now. It's very weird, it's very weird. Very weird right now. It makes me almost want to go long here, but I'm gonna sit on my pause. But very weird movements. It's like spikes, it just keeps spiking upwards. I'm definitely not gonna take a second entry. I'm gonna I'll take a trap here, but not a second entry short. I'm not gonna take the short. I will not take the short here. Not after these strong bull bars like this in a row. Could be potential outside bar reversal here with ABC pattern, right? Two-legged like pullback. But I'm looking for the failed trap here. Or I'm looking for the failed second entry short. 
outside bar reversal starts to go back up outside bar reversal almost want to go long on the next bar up but now nah, terrible like you know I can't I can't trade this chop like that Woo! breaks down immediately that was weird that the market's like spiking it's very interesting it's like bursting with orders something's happening something weird's happening here hmm A little too choppy for me, so I'm a little hesitant to go short here, but my natural inclination is to go short here. I would want to go short here if I were to take a trade. But I'm gonna sit on my pause. Yeah, too like a pullback. So was, the market's being very strange right now. It's, it's like spiking up and down, and it's kind of uh, concerning me. Like I'm not sure what's happening. And it's starting to look a little choppy now. Okay, very interesting. Continuing downwards. Hmm. Yeah. It's a two like a pullback with a decent signal bar, but the market was being a little sus to me. It was like spiking up and down, and I just do not like that. I did not like that. Little weird. Little weird, in my opinion. Sitting on my pause, no setups for us. Just watching. No setups right now. Pandas, my pandas. Make sure you guys scalp that like button. Also, if you guys are interested in opening your own risk-free trading account, you guys can go to um, the link in the pinned message. There is a 50% coupon. If you pass the evaluation, you basically get a funded account and you can make as much money or lose as much money on this account. But the thing is, you only take the profits you make. Very interesting. That's just an odd, odd price action in my opinion. Need a setup here. Need some sort of setup here. No setups for us yet. Can't even take a trap trade here if we tried. No second entry long. Marcus is being so stingy with us. So stingy. Not giving us any setups here.
downtrend continues. Can't take a trap here, can't take anything here, just watching this go without us. It's a strong downtrend. Downtrend's continuing. Absolutely amazing. What is this line here? Why did I mark this line? Safe to say, I think these things are not relevant anymore. <laughs> Sorry, pandas. No entries. Market's being so stingy. Mike Boliskis, I'm out for today. Made my three successful trades. Let's go, baby. Congrats. Just watching. No setups, no traps, nothing for us yet. No entries. In fact, it's so late in the trend now, it's like, do you even want to enter short at this point? Even if we get a trap trade. The market's basically trapping out the bears and trapping in the bulls. At this point, I actually want to go long. I feel like it's so late in the trend. I like, I want to go long on a you know, second entry high, we can get it. A higher low second entry. I ought to go long here, back to 20 May. Pandas my pandas. Almost wanted to go long here. Second entry short. So late in the trend now, now we're getting choppy. I can't even take the second entry short. Unfortunately. It's getting too choppy. One, two, three, four overlapping bars in a row. Even for me, I can't take the second to short here, especially after an L4 setup. <laughs> Scalps out. 
immediately though. This is so late in trend. Like I, I almost don't want him to take these secondary shorts right now. It's so late in trend. Boy, oh boy. Willing to take this trap though on the 10k chart. If it doesn't make an outside bar reversal, but it makes an outside bar reversal, so not interested. Man, these setups are terrible right now. Well, we're very close to yesterday's low. If we break yesterday's low, I think we can get down to here to our next target, which is um, the measure move of the surprise bear bar. But look at all the way down, we're getting very choppy. Like the market is fighting, like the, the bulls and bears are battling it out right now. You can see with all this chop right here and they're certainly, the bulls are certainly uh, not going out with a, without a fight. I'm not going out without a fight. I bought the deluxe delay pullback on the website. Do I get an email to access the Discord? Yes, you will. Just wait. It probably takes about one or two days to get everything ready for you. Thanks, Jason, for your support. Hope the tool is very helpful. trend hard to take any more shorts here especially with this break of trend to new low h4 setup scared to take that but obviously the market was not scared now we're getting choppy very choppy here right getting a little choppy here starting from here and it continues to chop here mm-hmm <laughs> The five minute action does not hit the 20 EMA yet. And I think it needs, it's like almost due time. It has to hit the 20. Is this actually, am I seeing what I'm seeing? The five minute is only has made, hasn't made a two like a pullback yet. This downtrend has been so strong. The five minute hasn't even made a two like a pullback yet. It's just made one pullback. First entry, second pullback. It almost made a two like a move. Almost. Another second entry on the 2K chart. A, B, C, good signal bar. Getting a little choppy here now. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if we've kind of come back here a little bit. Like on the five minute, I almost want to take the second entry on the five minute. I have all these lines. Where are these lines from? Why do I have these lines? Oh, these lines are from the daily chart, I see, I think. I'm not sure what these lines are, but it's hitting these lines, but I gotta get rid of them. I don't know what they are. I'm keeping a close eye on the five minute, thinking the two legged pullback will trigger a kind of a reversal here on the five minute, if we do get a five minute uh, two legged pullback. I almost want to go long there because these big two-legged pullbacks typically can give you a nice scalp at least here. We got two more minutes on that candle. I'm keeping a close eye on it. I most likely will enter a trade there. Whoa, 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 whoa. My original. And I'm going to attach this to the indicator. Because I really think the next reversal on the five minute will give us at least a point here. The 
five minutes about to trigger the second entry long here. Terrible signal bar, but it's like the first second entry long in a long time, a huge two-legged -like pullback. And these typically can scalp out pretty quick. So again, only gonna lose the four contracts or four points here. One, two, yeah, four points for that one uh, point scalp, if I can get it. But um, yeah, I, I like to take this because it's such a high probability trade. I'll take them and it is what it is, but if it traps, then I'll take the reversal on the trap when it gets there. But I'm only willing to lose four points here on this trade because of how big this signal bar is. I'm not willing to lose this entire signal bar. Which is a little weird, you know, because why would I enter the trade? But um, the scalping opportunity is, is such a high like chance. I'm just willing to take it. The two-legged pullback on the five minute. This is the first two-legged pullback, right? Two legs down, and usually these reverse here. I might take a, I might take a hit here. I can't move my stop loss. I cannot lose more than this, in my opinion. Absolutely incredible. The five minute doesn't scalp out. <laughs> it does scalp out, but it, I didn't get out. I couldn't get out. I didn't get filled. It does a perfect scalp. Ah, oh, it's a two-legged pullback. I just could not put my stop loss way down here. It's just too far down. The signal bar was not that good either. It was just the first two-legged pullback. I think I was just a little too eager to trade that. That's a two-legged pullback for sure. Two-legged move. It's all good pandas. Moving on. Man, oh man, oh man. Taking those hits now. Trying to trade counter trend. But I still think it was a good trade. Usually it scalps out. I, I still I wouldn't be surprised if it still scalps out. Everything's downtrend here. Oh man. Trying to get into that second entry long on the five minute, on the first second entry. And uh, it looks like it's about to trap out here. And it's kind of incredible to trap out like this, this far down, this far away from 20 MA. Man, it's far away from the 20 MA. You know, plenty of room back to it, thinking we can scalp out. But my stop loss was too tight, it's four points. And I wasn't willing to lose like, you know, this, this entire bar, which is like, more than 10 points looks like. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Like a 12 point stop loss. Can't do that. Not with this account. Not with the, the drawdown that I have. I can't do that. But every second entry short has been making a point. Absolutely incredible. No traps actually in this entire, in this entire time. No traps in this entire uh, down leg. But pandas, my pandas. That's what happens. Risk free trading, though. And I'm only trading two contracts. I mean, $400 loss on stream. The only bad thing about it is it's on stream in front of thousands of people. That's the only bad thing about this, but $400 loss to me is really nothing. I'm really okay with $400 loss, and especially on trades that I think are pretty good. But just sitting on my pause here. If you get trap trade to the long side, I'm, I'll be interested, but other than that, now it finally comes back up. And my stop losses was not big enough, in my opinion. But it looks like it's gonna try to scalp out now, but who knows? It's just too much risk for me, regardless. If I does scalp out, it's just my risk, like you I would have to have risked, you know, basically down here and it's just too much risk. But it does scalp out. If I had the proper stop loss, I could have got out there, but you know, it is what it is, pandas. You know, I just cannot risk more than four points, especially with this, with this, um, 
account. You gotta be out quick. Like, I thought that scalp would be very quick, but it wasn't. I'm just not willing to hold it longer than that. First, we're gonna try a new high. Oh. Huh. That's unfortunate. Unfortunate, unfortunate. It's all good pandas though. I don't I don't mind about being down 400, which is like seriously whatever, but it's the fact that you know when you're on stream, you know, you, you kinda wanna do well. And uh you know it's just it sucks. It sucks. But it's all good pandas. This trend line working right now. This channel breaks the channel. Top of the train to the bottom train range. All right, pandas. I think we call it a day. Too many losers on stream. Gonna have to focus up. Trade my account how I gotta trade it. But I hope you guys are doing amazing. Hope you guys are, uh, you know, green. Hope you guys are getting your bamboo. But uh, one more time for the stream. Get that bamboo. Pandas, hope you guys have an amazing weekend. I'll see you guys bright and early on Monday, 9 a.m. Eastern Time. Now, though we had a red stream today, it's all good, Pandas. We keep sticking to the plan, and uh, I am pretty confident I will end green today. <laughs> I'm so confident I can end green today. Um, but it is what it is, Pandas. And uh, I'll see you guys bright early Monday. Have an amazing weekend, as always. Happy trading. God bless.